possible for a snap general election on June the 8th. Parliament votes on her request on Wednesday with a two-thirds majority needed for a safe passage. Mrs May previously had said an early election wouldn't happen. But she's hoping to ride popular support and take advantage of weak poll numbers for the opposition Labour Party to cement the Tories' hard Brexit stance, as it's called. Here's more from the Prime Minister. Every vote for the Conservatives will make me stronger when I negotiate for Britain with the Prime Ministers, Presidents and Chancellors of the European Union. Every vote for the Conservatives will mean we can stick to our plan for a stronger Britain and take the right long-term decisions for a more secure future. Well, I'm joined here by Andrew Blick at Abingdon Green. He's a lecturer in politics and contemporary history at King's College in London. No one saw this coming, but it's not a complete surprise that it's going to happen. It makes political sense in many ways. As you say, we weren't all tweeted last night to be warned it was happening, but it makes political sense. Uh, if you look at the poll numbers, the, the poll figures don't have to be that accurate to, uh, to make an assumption that Theresa May could enlarge her Commons majority. Yeah, what you're saying there, the, the polls have been wrong before, but because their margin for Theresa May is so big, there's got to be something in it. Exactly. It would be very, very surprising if, uh, if, if they were completely wrong on this instance about, about the, the fact that Conservatives are in with a very good chance of enlarging their majority. Uh, so how do they campaign on this and how do voters make sense of it? Because is it a vote for the political party and the leader you want in power or is it a vote for where you want Britain to be in Europe? Well, this is a very difficult question, and in, in many ways it speaks to a clash between representative democracy and direct democracy. Do we vote on a single issue, or do we vote on a combination of different issues that go into a manifesto? And if so, if the latter, can the public...